Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I don't always do a review on every single product I get. Um, sometimes if I get a, something personal, I don't do a review on it. But I wanted to do a review on this new space heater that we just picked up. I'll put a link in the video description. We got it because it was really cheap at the time. Um, I think if you can get it for like $35 or less, I think it's a good deal. Um, even more than that, I think it's a good deal. And I absolutely love it. So I wanted to do a video for you guys showing it, demonstrating it. And this is it. It's very small. You got an on off switch right there. Fan in the back. A nice big power cord and a display right here. Now, one thing that th did trouble me is the fact that it's listed at 350 watts. That's why I got it and that's why we use it. But someone posted on the Amazon uh, description or under the feedback review s claiming that it actually tr takes 750 watts. If that's the case, then this is actually costing us more money than the other one I had and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I really do enjoy this so we might go back to our other 300 watt one to save money and only pull this out when it's really cold so without further ado let me show you how it turns on and what it looks like and then we're gonna actually hook it up to a volt reader and see how many watts it's actually taking Alright, so we turn it on and it's off right now. You press this and then you set the temperature that you want it. So if we have it at 65, it will heat up till 65. The red will turn off, which means it stops heating, but the fan will still blow and it will still produce some heat. And then it will turn back on when it hits the temperature. So let's see if we can show you. So you can drop it as low as 60 degrees. And you can take it up as high as, wow, 90 degrees. And you can also t have it set as a timer right here. And I think if you, I think that's one hour. I think it goes by hours. And then you can set it and then it will turn off in that amount of time. So, let's go ahead and see here. So sometimes when you turn it off, it'll stay blowing, and that's just because it's blowing the heat out, but it will turn itself off then. So let's hook it up and let's see how much watts it's using. To, so to figure out its watts, we use our P3. I'll put a link in the video description so you guys can get this. It's great for monitoring um, different appliances. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this. Well, first let's show you that it's at zero. And now we're going to go ahead and turn this on. I guess it would help if we turn it on the side here. So right now it's off. It says off. When we turn and okay, so when we turn it on here you can see it's kind of bouncing with the watts. And that's just with having the it turned on. So I assume that's using the light to power the light and to power that. This will be interesting. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Set at 70. All right, here we go. 460, 500, 570, 629, 682, 705, 670, 603, 570. All right, it's dropping now. The first initial turn on was real high. It's, we'll see what it stabilizes because it said it's supposed to be stabilized at 350. So we shall see. Alright, so we're just going to leave it on a little bit here. And I am curious to see how it fluctuates. So I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, the only downfall is when you first start it up. Let's turn it off and turn it on and see. So turn it off. 
Now we're going to turn it back on. Select our watts. And power back on. Okay, so I assume when it's cold and the whole system has to first fire up, that's why it shot up to 700 plus. Um, if it was really cold, it probably would go to 900 watts. But it then drops back down, and now you can see that it's holding. Let's go ahead and we're going to set this to 65. We're going to 60. We want it to turn off and just have the blower because right now it's producing heat. So I am curious to see when it just has the blower on. And the blower comes on when the temperature is met. So once it meets 60 degrees, that temperature, the blower will just be on while the heating elements will turn off. And that should drop the watts even lower. So I'm kind of shocked it hasn't reached the 60 yet. So to manually do that, we're just going to turn it off. Now it's just the blower. So even though the fan is still blowing, it's barely using any watts. But yet it's still blowing, heat's still being pushed out. Turn it back on. So that just gives a good indicator. Oh yeah, there you see, when we first turn it on, it just climbs up so high. So the key, I wonder though if every time it hits the temperature and turns off and then kicks back on if it's going to climb the whole way to 700 plus for that split second. Because that does add up. So we're going to monitor this. A couple things to know is one, this gets very hot. So this is not something you want to set around with pets that rub up against things or children. Uh, this this blows hot air for 357 360 watts this blows I mean this is hot this this thing is phenomenal that's why I kinda did believe that person that said it was 700 but it is maintaining 360 around there so uh, with that being said this thing is definitely phenomenal it's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 well no we can't give it a 10 out of 10 because that initial spike up uh, that definitely doesn't impress me but I can definitely give it an 8.5 out of 10 so I'm still waiting for it to reach the temperature the 60 degrees and kick off so we can monitor it but it is holding basically 360 so it says it's supposed to hold 350 watts 10 watts off you know can add up but it's a lot better than a 500 watt or a thousand or even 1500 watt heater I mean this thing works as good as a 700 to 1000 watt heater I'm serious this thing is phenomenal I mean it that's as long as I can keep my hand there it's that hot so it's very 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 nice I really like this a lot I mean I, I can't recommend this anymore now let's you know for those who like to know how it feels how hot it's like the base around it the plastic around it it's warm but it's not like burning hot but you touch that actual metal of it which this is metal this front face here is all metal that you'll burn your, your finger pretty quickly but everything else around it is actually pretty just warm which is very shocking and we're still waiting for it to hit 60 degrees um, which it should be hitting pretty soon so let's just set it at 61 maybe something's off at 60 we'll see so this thing has two extremes when the heating element kicks off and it just blows the fan once because it blows the fan when it reaches temperature it drops down to anywhere from one to five watts and it holds that when the heating elements kick on as you see we're going to up the temp it kicks on it jumps the whole way 300 400 
500, 600, about 690 watts, and then it starts climbing back down. So you get that extreme. You get that it takes a lot of watts for like 10, 15 seconds, then it drops, you, but then it has a extremely low watts. So I think it would probably even out to about 380 watts. It aver I'm just going to guess it's going to average out to um, when you run this, which is not bad for what it produces. So it gets a 9 out of 10 just from that. If it wasn't so extreme lows and extreme highs, I'd give it probably a 10 out of 10, but definitely worth it. Um, yeah, I love this. Hey guys, I wanted to stop and take a very quick break and ask if you guys could hit that like button on this video and also subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. It is very hard to grow these days and if you could do that, that would mean so much to me. I really do appreciate it.